guys, Reyes here, another achievement guide for you for Immortal Unchained. So I'm going to be going for the Rogue Achievement here, and I'm going to be showing you where I'm at. This area is to progress through the story as usual, so you'll be coming across this bridge to enter in that door behind me. But I'll give you a better understanding of what I'm going to be doing here. So if you follow this path down here, if you made it to that bridge, you can backtrack a bit here. If you haven't already found this obelisk, this is going to be your starting point here. So what you're going to want to do is do, if you've watched my other video guides before, is if you go into the obelisk and refresh not only your your stats for your health, it also refreshes the enemies. So it makes grinding out any of these achievements in the game pretty simple. So you're just going to come back up here and you're going to climb back up the ladder. Excuse me, climb back up the ladder. You're going to run back up here. Now this is the pattern that you just take you straight to the achievement for these guys and get them in the back. So you're going to turn right, go back, back across that bridge. Now, you have to come at least this far right here to trigger them spawning and have them start walking forward so they know you're up there. So, once they start walking forward, you'll see them because they'll be trying to work their way around the stairway to you. So, when they got their backs turned, just go ahead and unload on them. You know, you'll be getting two here every few minutes. And just be careful for that. If you do go end up far enough to that door, it will open up and you'll have a guy shooting you in the back. So, bear that in mind. Try not to get killed there, because you uh, don't want to waste your time dying and refreshing it. So you're just going to come back down here, and you would be coming back down this ladder. And rinse and repeating this for about an hour or so, I would say. Depending on how fast you can come down here, and uh, if my health was good enough, which I ended up trying it out one time. And if your health is good enough, at least as far as mine as to say, it will also... You can just jump right off this ledge, right down to the obelisk, and you will survive by one bar. If you want a chance that to uh, risk making it a little quicker on yourself, go ahead and be my guest. Make sure your health is at least this length or you end up killing yourself. So I'm going to come back out here and kill him again and over again and over again. So on a little side note, this is the path right here. You will be following up these stairs right here where these guys are coming and making that way around to your left hand side where they're going and following all the way around and left and around up to where I ended up basically going in that door for the obelisk down there. Not to also mention, if you've seen my other video guides, like I said before, this is also another good spot to farm for some weapons as well as the achievement. So I'm going to go ahead and pop a tracker on a side note. As you can see, my assault rifle mastery is going up pretty much a good chunk every so often. So. Like I said, there's good spots in the game to where if you get stuck and you need some extra attribute points to spend, make your character a little bit beefier, this is another good spot to do it. Not only are you going for an achievement, that also seems to be kind of a bit of a pain in the ass to get at times, because who knows when you're going to get your backs turned toward them, and if you're impatient about the achievement and kind of want to get out of the way, this is also a good spot as well to get that, and to get your weapon kills for the weapon you want to work for, and also obviously your attribute points to make your character even better. So, that should do it guys for this video guide, just keep doing this for about an hour or so and you should have this achievement as well. It's probably a weapon achievement depending upon how far it is and a bunch of attribute points as well. Thanks for watching guys, stay tuned for more Immortal Unchained video guides, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you later.